All right, listen up. Before we begin this masterpiece, we're all current or former law enforcement officers. We've seen our share of humanity. But if you came here thinking we give a shit about your feelings, you are sadly mistaken. So if you're a snowflake, we'll give you just a minute to turn this mother off, all right? Now, for the non-pussified, this is the Midweek News Show of the Motor Cop Chronicles Podcast. The only place where you'll find unfiltered, unedited, and raw discussions about law enforcement, crime, and everything in between. We love discussing the good, the bad, and the downright bizarre stories involving cops and criminals. So get ready for some raw comedy blended with our unapologetic opinions. We're diving deep into the headlines, breaking down the latest news about our brothers and sisters in blue and the criminals they deal with. You'll be laughing one minute and shaking your head the next. It's funny and maddening all at the same time, just like the world of law enforcement. This is the Midweek News Show of the Motor Cop Chronicles podcast. And here are your hosts, the Iceman, with co-hosts Holstera and Freebird. Well, I don't know why we're not on YouTube and stuff like that. Like, so I'm still trying to figure out this new shit, so... I, I, I need time to sit down and just play with it. Believe it or not, it's not the first time in the man's life to sit down. What, I sit down and play with it? No, no I'm, I'm sure you sit down and play with it all the time. <laughs> By the way, speaking of playing with it, uh, y'all here at the McRibbit's back. They're doing like a holiday spin. No, no, the McRibbit. It's the McRibbit. No, no, not the McRibbit. I was really there and I got dinner tonight and I looked at the menu and I'm like, why wasn't that shit on the app? Uh, it was on the app, but with the bottom of the crib. Y'all, as everybody can see, like I said, we, we were, thank God we just said that we were supposed to because we were live and didn't know we were live because that could have really fucked us up. <laughs> yeah. uh, y'all can see we got right over here. We got Miss Ivana Williams. If, uh, also, she was a, a guest a while back. So you can Google her name, Ivana Williams. If you need any background on her, she will pop up all over the place. <laughs> She's uh, uh, I it, just thought. Ex state trooper. No, 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 no. Freebird, you know, he, he's at the fuzzy hat meeting tonight. This is her yeah. first time with the uh, midweek news, so I hope we don't scare her off any. Uh, so oh, hopefully you watched the episode. Or, <laughs> I don't think she has. It. You got the easy two <laughs> well, to deal with. Well, well she she yeah, asked. She's, and I told like, Yvonne, you can stream it on your TikTok. Just be careful because, like I said, I get kind of out of box. I put sometime. it on like where it's eighteen and above. okay because like I said I, I I'm always getting in trouble on TikTok for some reason they don't like me they you can get a McRibbit though you can see what a McRibbit is over there what delicious. oh delicious. I don't care you put that much barbecue sauce on anything it's no be good. well okay okay wait until next time you come down here let's get the uh, housekeeping out the way if y'all want a great cigar go to uh, mypatriotcigar.com and uh, use the promo code MotorCop15, and you can get yourself a. Uh, whole Sarah, I've got somebody. We got to uh, send him some fucking cigar because he's just he's been crying so much about a cigar. Stop giving them away. I, I haven't, mean, like, gi- I haven't given I'm none away in a. Employee. I ain't given none away in like a while. All the sandwiches inside of the clubhouse, and like you let all the part timers go into the clubhouse. And they eat all the sandwiches. Assholes. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, if anybody would like any merchandise, uh, you can see the shirt I have on right now. It's one of the new ones, my favorite one. It's for sale. It says it's a joke, not a dick. Don't take it so hard. It's got my logo on the back of it. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's great for family functions and festivals. Uh, all your relatives will love you walking in Christmas and, uh, See and Buy it for him for Christmas. Papa and Grandma need a Motor Cop Chronicles shirt. Yeah, they don't know it yet, but it'll be the favorite topic. Ever. And it's like Everyone cheap. It's like topic. cheap as shit. I mean, my shit's like fifteen bucks. Oh, floofers. Fifteen bucks. How much? How can you get any cheaper than that? You can't even go to the fucking Wally World and get nothing that cheap. Uh, and if you'd like any extra uh, 
episodes you can go to patreon join up there uh i'm always putting shit up up there of course uh pictures videos uh songs i got two playlists of all made songs that uh are all custom that i made myself some of them are funny some of them are just plain stupid uh we got our hang around Stacy McClendon. We got Kelly Meyer, our full crew members, Jared Nitrous, Motor Cop for Life, Mr. William Gbo, who's in the chat, our buddy from New York. We got Dan Carlson with Burley Boards. Y'all go check out, get yourself a Burley board with them handmade cutting boards. They're great for cutting your food up with. You can spank your kids with it. You can pop a, a bad guy upside the head with it and if you're feeling frisky you can spank your wife with it at night too we got well, you know what we need we need to figure out what caliper it'll stop around that I don't, I i'm not well, i'm not gonna well you gonna stand behind it no but if a dude's breaking in your house i'd rather stand behind that than nothing oh. i mean the cooking board I, that thing <laughs> hung in my kitchen well them things cost too much money here. to be shooting up we got uh t-bird we got our favorite yes. truck driver mr hoppy hopson we got blake walker we got aa ron with the hot had to say it podcast mr z palmer roy spalding that's right with the s or not roy p our favorite australian girl jojo miss kayla norris and natasha a we hope natasha is feeling better and hope her knee's doing good since i think it's what she did she broke her kneecap or something didn't she something oh, like that she had told us yeah no 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 bill we don't have no skittle chomping tonight let's not let's do that it's quiet it's quiet next uh i told y'all we had a special announcement uh it wasn't miss ivana coming out of the closet no no but we do have a, a, a new uh a new item for sale. I can't sell it on Etsy store. They won't allow me to. Uh, I have I have a bottle of it right here. Okay, and uh, let let me play the commercial real fast of it, and uh, th- then I'll show it to you. And uh, welcome to not Roy's. That. Did you know Corner? We're, we're gonna get to that. Understand the frustration. We're gonna get to it. Here we go. The commercial. Don't miss out, get your ultra hair pills now Before they are gone For the low, low price of 25 bucks This pills will have you growing hair everywhere And we swear Don't hesitate Get them before it is too late Get, get the deal to for 50 Don't be a flake Run, don't, don't walk Get you hair pills now Before we end up in jail <laughs> Testimonies coming up. Testimonials. Got some right here. They're real. I would like to say these pills work great for me. I have never been so hairy in my life. I'm so hairy that when I took my panties off and the big bad bush was between my legs. So if you would like to have an 80s bush, I would get these for sure. Hates me, Sleepy Joe, or you can just call me Brandon. I don't know you, but anyway, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah, vote for me. Uh, What did you say? Oh, okay, get these. Their pills are great. The hair on my legs are so long now that all the kids at the pool like to rub them. I really like that. What? Okay. Okay, I got to go. It's pudding time. uh, I had to quiet you down. What's that? (laughs) He had to quiet me down. (laughs) Yeah. uh, TikTok was like, you're... Live is being restricted. <laughs> <laughs> and we ain't even started yet. Yeah, wow. I know. So I was like, oh, wait, let me, let me touch this. <laughs> I wonder why they restricted us already. Nudity. They, uh, I guess the music that you had. That's but, our own music. It's my own music. There's no copyright on it. I wrote that. That's they, my music. Love it. Yeah. I re- I, uh, it said current live, live visibility restricted. Wow! Like I said, that that and that's like that's that's like like my music. So they can't they can't say it's a copyright. But anyway, when he goes the, and does motorcycle escorts and shit. They'll pop him for nudity. Yeah. The, this right here is the real the real hair the real hair pills I, I had made. So they they are for real. I can't guarantee it's gonna like grow your hair. But it does say on here if you take these, you can be as ugly as this guy on the bottle. Also. It says that on there. So if you'd like to get you some Holstera hair pills, I mean, you can see how great they're working for him. 
Uh, they're, it's a fantastic product. So fucking great, and I've never even opened a bottle It's like yet. $25 a bottle, or you can get them special. You can get two for $50 on sale, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> you, have to, you have to email me because I can't sell them on the Etsy store. <laughs> but they are real pills. Uh, that was the I little surprise. man has a real job, yo, and he spends most of his time there. So I don't know where he comes <laughs> up with half this shit. Hey. <laughs> You want your own uh, pills? Oh, I do. I do. Okay. I look great on let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's jump over to uh, Roy's Corner real fast. Welcome to Roy's Did You Know Corner, where Roy will let us know something that is totally useless, and we will have information living in our minds, rent-free for no good reason at all. So shut the fuck up and listen to what Roy has to tell us. Hey. Did you know that a woman could not apply for credit at the bank until 1974? How times have changed Roy out. Hey Roy, I still do not have credit, which is all kinds of wrong in 2024. That they won't give the DOG any damn credit. That damn banker said sniffing ass and licking my balls is not a real job. Oh yeah, I need bond money. Come to find out biting banker balls is a felony. So, if y'all would like to <laughs> donate to Duke the Dog's bond to get him out of jail... <laughs> He's in jail for biting the banker's ball. Other than that, I guess we'll jump into these stories. You, oh, have you got your stuff straight over there? Me? Yeah. With no, I I got a long ways to go. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about you, <laughs> your TikTok or whatever. Thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm like I'm dangerous. I turned it off. Okay, I said I'm dangerous on TikTok. If you share it on your Facebook, I'm usually I ain't got kicked off of Facebook yet. Just Not Twitch, yet. no, just Twitch. And I get they told me if I get one more strike on TikTok, they may ban my account. According to them, uh, doing motorcycle escorts live is a very extremely dangerous activity, and you're not allowed. Because you to told do them that. you were doing escorts in New Orleans, they thought you were a hooker. Yeah, but all I had to do is look at me, and I wasn't a hooker. I mean. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I've seen. I, I don't know. They arrested some out here that were pretty damn ugly. Uh, so, <laughs> on to it. Our first story is this. They got. They had this. We got a video. We got quite a few videos. And Freebird's not here because you know he's bitching because he don't have video. But they had this. They had the, the cops come across this crazy guy or got uh, dispatched out there. You know. Personally, I think they did a pretty good job. We're going to watch some uh, video on it. This psycho dude decided he thought he was like Paul Bunyan or something. He was like chunking axes at him or some shit. <laughs> and uh, they were in their vehicle, and uh, they did create space. They're lucky he missed because that hatchet, I don't know if it went through the windshield, but it could have possibly went through the windshield. But we'll jump over to the video section on that real fast and then we'll don't miss out get your oh. old to a hair pills got now. to get them hair pills Springfield where a man was arrested Monday night after police say he threw an axe at a police cruiser Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 6 on this Friday. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnavali. State police releasing body cam footage of the incident just a little while ago when Western Mass News reporter Reagan Stoddard joins us live in studio with more information. Reagan? Abby and Chris, authorities say this incident could have become more violent or even deadly, but with the actions taken by the Massachusetts State Police and Springfield Police Department, all... This girl right here looks like she could be really mean if she wanted to, don't she? Just reporter oh, check. Look at her. I bet you she. Be, I bet she beats the shit out of her husband. <laughs> the news here in Jackson area. I always look at what they wear and stuff. I'm like, you really picked that. that that's the one you went with. Well, she, she's. Uh, yeah. she, I mean, she, she's not big. She's a little chunkier girl, but uh, yeah, she just looks mean. I'm like, this right here, she needs to do a little bit with. Looks a little greasy, but uh, yeah. If you didn't know, we do talk about the. News reporter. He's walked away unharmed. I'll pick on the dudes too. So don't. See, he just chunked the shit out that axe. Well, you really couldn't tell what it was at first. Axes. Better car. This footage oh, released Friday it. afternoon by the Massachusetts State Police shows Monday night's incident where a man Watch, in his right late there. 30s threw an axe at a crew. Went down the side. Now, what I didn't say, th this guy had like an FTO with him, like a fresh rookie cop with him at the time also. 
They you can see the officer backing up the cruiser and attempting kidding. to de-escalate the situation. But the man continued to walk towards the officers, posing a threat. Hey, he's got a knife! Now, this guy did, had made some threats also before he did all this stuff, saying that he wanted to kill a prison guard and cops and all kind of stuff. So, I mean, of course, the dude's got mental issues, but that don't give him the right to be violent. They did create space because they were in the vehicle at the time. Now, if they would have been outside of the vehicle, they should have just, you know, gave them some lead poison. And he's got an axe. He threw it at us. State police say the son... And, and this cop just, I don't know who he told, but he just ratted on that guy. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> he called the police and told them. He, he ratted on them. Uh, you think? I'm surprised these cars stopped down there. Because right where I live, these motherfuckers, they'd been in too much of a hurry to get Walmart or something. They'd been trying to pass us. Oh, yeah. They'd try to pass on the damn sidewalk. Yeah. You might be interested in this. I had somebody send me a message saying, why are you on that trashy podcast? You are so much better. I'm like, oh, my God. Because I'm because exactly. tell them you like to hang out with the dirt bags every now Stay and then. Stay trashy, man. y'all. Stay trashy. <laughs> they don't, I don't care if people don't bother me. Uh, what was that on Facebook or what? Uh, it was just a Facebook message. I mean, uh, I probably don't even yeah. know them. They probably don't even watch me. They're jealous. No, but it's just <laughs> jealous. Yeah. Just, remember, if they're hating and they're still watching, they're still Yeah, fans. yeah. If you're still watching what I'm doing and you hate me, it still means you're a fan. <laughs> Multiple weapons in his hands, including a hatchet, several knives, and a machete. Put it down! Put it down! Now. Put it down! No. Nah. Hold on, hold on. Ivana's got an armory. That's not a, what, what kind of pistol is he carrying? I was looking at that earlier. That's not no Glock. No, uh, it's it more like a like Smith. So, was that a message from somebody on Facebook that it pops up in your post? Oh no, I have oh, a I have a chat. The that do on the screen. Oh, the trashy podcast? No, that's Bill. He's a yeah. a good fan. He's making fun of it because they said yeah. that. I put that up there. Yeah, we got a all the Facebook chats show up right here. Oh, okay. And if, if, I don't know if we're on, whatever we're, I'm live on right now, like if somebody said something on X, it'll pop up over here and I just put it over. But was that a SIG or something like that? Because like I said, that ain't no Glock. I didn't even. Something with a safety decock. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's definitely a, got a hammer. It's not a. Hold on, hold on. Drop everything. Put it all down! This was the scene when our Western Mass News arrived on scene Monday <laughs> night. You can see one of the troopers picking up what appears to be the axe the suspect Look threw. Once in custody, the man continued what police call abnormal behavior. They say he expressed his interest in wanting to kill corrections officers and first responders. In a statement from the Massachusetts State Police, they say in part, quote, despite the grave danger posed by an armed, volatile individual, these troopers use their training and composure to achieve a safe resolution for for the suspect, bystanders, and first responders. I'll give them this. I think they did a, a, a decent the job, and they didn't the air him out. The yeah, they, I think they did a good job on that one. Because, uh, you know, they created their space. That that, that was that was actually good one. We're going to see one in a while. In, in a little bit, I got some shit to talk about, because this cop, you know, shouldn't have had his fucking taser out. Uh, he's lucky it didn't end the way it did. Uh, so anyway, we got the hatchet man. Y'all remember that? I don't know if you know. We we take some of the stories, and everybody that's still online gets to vote on who gets a hot nut award for tonight for being a hot nut. So, so basically, the most outlandish story that makes you laugh, or you just think somebody's so insane, they get the hot nuts usually. Um, let's see. This next story, I guess I can go ahead and jump on in right behind this young lady uh, in true Michigan fashion. Uh, well, let's reword that a little bit. <laughs> little old ladies walking down the sidewalk next to a, say, a creek. It's a river. Bigger, bigger than a creek. It's a big it's a river. Creek. Anyway, this little old lady's walking with this dog. Dog's an asshole. Slips out of its harness. Jumps into the fucking river. Well, you know, little old lady ain't gonna do anything. She's like, Toto, no. Fuck, Bill. What are we gonna do? Toto's swimming away. Well, this drunk, what, forty-nine-year-old woman. Happened to be walking down the sidewalk and jumped in after this dog, saving this dog's life. Uh, which time the fire department, sheriff's department, what the hell ever, all the Leos and everything showed up. This woman got out of the water. And instead of being, you know, smart and just walking off, 
the uh, the lady wanted to argue because she was, of course, drunk. And uh, the officers asked for her information so that they could fill out the report. My personal response would have been, good citizen, now fuck off, I'm going home. Especially if I had as many warrants as this young See, lady did. He, he didn't read a She's story tons. again. He read nope, a story she again. has tons of warrants, and she refused to give her information. Which led to it because she acted stupid as shit and started yelling and saying the old lady was throwing the dog in the river. Well, that's because she was drunk. But right, she got pissed when the cops asked her, her name because they had to write a report. And she's mm-hmm. like, oh, fuck you. I ain't giving you my name right. because she knew she had a fucking warrant. Now, let's get this. Right. This is 11 o'clock during the day. And this bitch is hammered. She is hammered. She just saved the dog. She did save the dog. She was floating on her back. She was floating on her back with the dog on her belly until the fireman could come rescue him. Uh, We don't have to watch the whole video. We can see some of her. Springfield, where a man was arrested Monday night. There was no questions asked, and it wasn't even her dog. But this hero story takes a turn. To try to save a dog, you guys found public intoxication. Okay. It was pretty obvious that she was highly intoxicated. (laughs) Blowing double digits at 11 a.m. last Friday. (laughs) The Wyandotte woman. (laughs) Who's double digits, and why is she blowing them? I don't know. I mean, it was eleven or something. <laughs> She's a day drinker, huh, huh Bill? Yeah, she she was a she 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 thinks that hops and beer is like breakfast food because <laughs> it's like she blew double digits like fucking at eleven o'clock. Breakfast in the bottle for jumping in after a strain. They uh, that that's a river. That's not a creek, right there. Oh, it's a creek. Is that the dog? No, I think I, I was trying to get to it. Here, here, here's her right here. Until firefighters got there, the dog made it back on shore, then the woman. You can tell that's nowhere around Louisiana because that water ain't brown. <laughs> it's actually got a, it's actually got a bluish tint, and she's not getting out with, like, some kind of amoeba or parasite on her or a leech or something. <laughs> I saved the dog, but now I got a brain-eating parasite. Aneurysm. I got it. Can you move me? Thank you so much. Once they get the woman out, they, just for the basic police report, they ask for her name for some identification. She refuses to give her name. Uh Uh-oh, probably because she has warrants. Nothing too serious misdemeanors. Then Chief Archie Hamilton says she gets big mad from here. She actually claim that the dog's owner, the elderly female. Yeah. Anyway, there, there she, she mad as much. Well. She's hot. But to take her in well, on yeah, public Jennifer intoxication charges. Yo, the f- you guys take me do whatever you want. A good deed gone awry. <laughs> At least the dog will be okay. And this latest charge is just a misdemeanor. I would guess she probably needs help. They probably wouldn't the arrested course, her. They, came they probably right after this and said, "Don't jump in the water to save animals." They probably She's wouldn't have arrested animals. her if she wouldn't acted a, a psycho. Oh, I don't shit. know. Like I with Girl. that because I wouldn't care what she, who she is. Just like get out of the water, go about your day, right? Yep. But at the same time, once you start asking and now she doesn't want to answer and you see she's drunk, it's kind of like, damn, like yeah. you got to do something, you know? <laughs> no, I'm just saying if she just gave them their name, they would have probably gave her a pass on the warrants because she had no oh, felonies. Yeah. They were all misdemeanor crap. I mean, she just saved the beloved dog. And we are dog lovers around here. Unless you have like RoboCop that, you know, is really badass. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, you know, Massachusetts, so, wasn't it? Uh, I think what? Michigan. Was it Mich- Michigan? Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. So there you go. I mean, hell, they were arresting people fishing. Of course, that was a whole other issue. Michigan. Now, uh, Ivana has... uh, Oh, the lawnmower chase. So I don't have... You're going to put up that video, right? Yeah. You you just want me to play the video? Are you going to talk about it? Oh, man, yeah. I think it's uh, why is this guy chasing this guy down? But you could see in the video that he is obviously reaching for something. Oh, like yeah, the- yeah, yeah. That's why I don't know why this guy had. That's why I said I got some. I'm going to have some shit to say about this one. He should have never had asked, that on. It wasn't even her dog. But this hero story. I don't, James. I mean, I guess he's at a lawnmower repair shop here, it looks like. 
Because I thought he's like, why, I mean, I would like to know the context behind it. Like, yeah. why was he driving off? Why was the officer there? Stuff like that. Where's Freebird? He's at a fuzzy hat meeting. You want to know this? But anyway, he's obviously not cutting grass because there's a lack of grass here. So it looks like a repair shop or something. I'm in hot pursuit. You ain't going. These things go really fast. You're not going to yeah, like, quick. not going to just run up. I'm not. My fat ass ain't going to do it. You can be hollering for some spike strips or something. <laughs> spike yeah, the one. He's just off to his house. You know? He's just going to ride off to his house. I don't know where he's it going. Happens. I don't know where he's going. Stop. It's oh, coming up right know. here, y'all. No, he pulls his taser out. I don't told y'all a hundred times that uh, cops today are too reliant on these fucking tasers. Stop! 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 Right now, was okay with a taser, but in a second, he should have switched weapon. Stop! No! Stop! He then told him to stop four times. Just tase his ass. It's going to be real funny when he falls yeah. off of that thing. Stop! No! Stop! Now, but look, now I want y'all to pay attention. This Before I even knew it, first thing I saw... Right here. Yeah. Why, why is his hand over here? What are you reaching for? Because the handle for the lawnmower is right here. He, he's obviously trying to grab something. At this point, he should have put this taser up and pulled his pistola out. See, so he's still reaching. Still reaching. Just on, what are you trying to grab? See how he's acting? He's not acting right either. You can tell. He's trying to get something. Yeah, I'm trying. Shut it off and step off now. I am. Come. Get off. Come. Now. He's not listening. How many? This is this is I don't. This is what pisses me off about this shit. Cops are so worried that because they push. Oh, we got to de-escalate. You got to de-escalate. All constantly, constantly. How many times? How many orders has he given this guy? What ten or fifteen at least already? Mm-hmm. Y'all, you probably. I I probably didn't see the episode. They had this one cop. He's like me. He's like, I'm going to, he said, I hear, he said, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you to do it. I'm going to tell you to do it. And I'm going to make you do it. The third time the person got made to do it. That's all you get. This is how many now? Come on. Yeah. It's like telling a stupid kid, you know, I'm going to spank you and never spanking them. Still not stopping. Where are you going? Tase him. This cop is extremely lucky coming up. You run, I'm going to tase you, James. Look. See this right here? Oh, he knows he. It don't matter. Look. See this? What's he reaching for? Is that a gun? Oh, yeah. I'm going to pop his ass. Look. Well, he's, got, he's got a taser. He don't have his gun out. Look. This guy right here. Oh, my God. What happened is he did tase him. And Ding Dong shot himself in his fucking hand. At least he didn't shoot the cop. Right. Drop the gun! Hey, he did the uh, transition to the gun, though, after that. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Send me another unit now. Shots fired. Suspect pulled the gun. No, it was... He shot. Uh, he says, no. Bitch, yes, you did. It's like, no. I don't Suspect know how he... for a gun. <laughs> and shot himself. <laughs> Round discharge from his gun. Oh, I'm, I'm still another unit. Confused Looks like he, he thought he was going. What's that? I'm still confused on where he thought he was going. He was I, gonna... I, I have no idea. I mean, well, I mean, but on a zero turn out there, the officer it, the officer was dumb enough to follow him on foot. I mean, he yeah. retreated back to the cruiser and followed him. But uh, that those things are faster than anybody's going to be on foot. I'm glad that he didn't tase him while he was operating the vehicle because anybody that's ever seen a zero turn. If you freeze up or do something like this or anything, that machine turns into a bucking bronco. That that, 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 I, I, that, it would have been funny as shit. It would have been. It, it would have been. been. It would have been. been. It would have been. been funny. <laughs> show you know, what, 20 million for a guy getting tased and cracking his head open? But, you know. The cop, he's lucky that he didn't take around in that because 
when he saw that guy digging around, yep. it should have been sending off bells and whistles in his head like crazy to pull out his firearm. That's why I keep telling everybody, stop relying on the taser so much. Well, I kind of disagree with that because it's more of if he would have stopped it with a taser a lot sooner, we they would have never got to that point, you know? Yeah, but when he started fidgeting around, he should have he should have changed over. Should have tased him in a second after he told him to stop, and he didn't stop. Just tase him. And yeah, lawnmower's gonna stop. Yeah, he should have. What well, we yelled three times, taser, I got, taser, I got, the third uh, one is taser. Whiskey. You got some whiskey? I wish I have sweet tea. Oh, <laughs> that's been watered down. We usually drink whiskey, but yeah, I mean. It had a decent outcome, but it, that could have been way worse, way worse. This next one, I don't know if y'all remember that uh, motor officer up in uh, Seattle, Washington, who got who crashed his motorcycle when uh, Jennifer says, welcome to Ivana. Uh, he crashed his motorcycle when he was escorting, escorting the uh, luxury, glorious, or the, the genius person of the vice president, Kamala Harris. Wasn't that last year? Uh, yes, this was last year. He crashed, and uh, when he crashed, he was like on an overpass, and he like went over the bridge rail and then fell. It was like thirty or forty feet. Oh, and sued, sued them. Now, yes, now he is. He's suing the state. He's not suing his department. He's not suing anything like that. He's suing the state, saying that they knew that these bridge railings aren't high enough, and if they'd been high enough, he wouldn't have went over it. Uh, hey, I'm a motorcycle cop and everything, but I'm just going to say this. Uh, you know what else would have stopped it? Not running into the bridge railing, okay, because this was a single vehicle accident. This means yeah. you were going probably above your ability and you, you ran into the bridge rail and because you didn't negotiate the apex of the curve correctly, and uh, but you, you know how the you, you flew know how off of it. The, the presidential motorcades, you know as well as anybody that they run them pretty hard, and they also use some noobs that are short. But if you're if you're if you're a noob, you shouldn't be doing it. We tell people do not. Do you're not ride. Noob. Hey, you're a noob, but at the same time, you're going to escort a vice president or a president. I know that certain individuals, it doesn't matter, but others, it's like, fuck yeah. So they go out there and give it a chance, and this shit happens. But, hey, you know, best well, luck we'll see. He people. probably, he, he may get some money out of it or whatever. Uh, I think the department was trying to do him wrong because they did try to, you know, he got hurt in the line of duty, and they, like, cutting it because he was out for so long he, they were cutting his benefits and shit and stuff yeah, you know stuff yeah state but that it got straightened out where it didn't but uh you know he's saying you know i can't play with my kids like i used to and stuff like that well i mean they should have warned you about that really for they they, they should have warned you about that we tell people when they go through motor school you know this is okay with your family because oh, by the way uh like the guys I work with in the department I work with were like, look, I need your, your, your wife's phone number. And they're like, for what? I was like, well, for when you crash, I can call and tell her. Because when you don't want somebody she don't know calling and telling her, they just look at you like, we're not joking. We all have each other's wife's phone number. In case we crash, somebody, one of us goes down, we, we call and tell them. Not have some stranger show up or something like that. Because yeah. it's not if you crash, it's when. How bad? So, like I Hell, said, he doesn't even try to. He goes to these competitions, man. He's sitting there like eating a hot dog and just fucking falls off his motorcycle. Who me? Wasn't that what, yeah, I wasn't eating no damn hot yeah. dog. Oh shit! You just—that was a better excuse. You're jealous of my shoes. I well, I have the exact same shoes, sir. Well, no, because those shoes I had on that day had glitter gold on them. What? No, yeah. I just had the gold. Gold you just had the gold with the light up light soles. Up. You got gold shoes, Vana? I got the hot pink shoes. Hot, yes, sir. I've yeah, seen, yeah. seen them. I've seen the whole metallic. bunch. I got gold uh, chains. <laughs> oh, what? she she's a G. She's slinging it. Ain't you? Ain't you got one? <laughs> what a gold chain? I, I got a right, right, microphone. I got a whole bunch of Timu chains. How's that? <laughs> Moving on to this next story. See, this actually popped up on everyone's TikTok. 
Um, and it was kind of a... It's taking my story, but go ahead. The hell I am. It says, host era, the person dressed as a bear fucking breaks into the cars. What? Okay, I'll give it to you. Yeah, Van Jurek was the Washington <laughs> officer asshole. Anyway, so all over TikTok, there was this videos of this, like, obviously fake-ass bear costume. And, uh... It was, it's bad. Like, the mask actually had, like, the neck flap that went down over it. It was worse than some Comedy Central shit. But if you ever seen the barbecue, uh, like, to rip off the meat uh, for, like, shredded uh, beef or pork or whatever, that's what these guys were using was this thing that you kind of brass knuckle, and it's got these uh, bear claw-looking things for shredding. So they, uh, yeah, okay, chat. Anyway, uh, they were going around all these luxury vehicles, uh, cutting the interiors out. I think it was their like own that. their own vehicles. That's the weird thing, is it's so many different luxury vehicles. It's so many different, like, locations that I didn't think that it was the same damn cars. It, and that's what led me to be super confused about the whole last story, and it doesn't get well, real Well, one of the problems is, is they found them. One of the problems is, is it was a brown bear. And, like, they were in California, and California right, hadn't had bears. brown bears in California in, like, over 100 years. So, it, was the, broke it, was, it was kind of funny how there's, like, tiny little scratch marks. Oh, and, and it, I'm going to play the video. If you watch real close on the video, I've never seen a bear walk like that and just, like, open a car door. It's just amazing. I've seen bears do weird shit. Not this. Right. Watch. It's it's a horrible. It's a horrible costume. Kevin Beretta that is not running the more. Secret Service, nor the city of Seattle, or the city oh, that's the of wrong Bellevue. One. But I didn't in play his lawsuit, that video. he says the state's Pretty department invited guests in neighborhoods across Southern California. I mean, look, did, did you see how he opened the door? Look, look, he just invited guests in neighborhoods look at the way he across Southern through. California. <laughs> Perhaps that's why a group of it's alleged horrible. monsters <laughs> thought yeah. they could dress up. It's it's horrible. <laughs> Like Yogi Bear. A blind person could see that that's not a real bear. He should have opted for a lot worse cameras. Uh, As uh, a bear, yeah. Uh, damage their luxury cars and collect. That's the cost. That's the best part is when they searched the fucker's house, they found the costume. Okay? Like they got him red pawed or brown some, pawed. They call him red, red pawed. Claims. Yeah. Well, state investigators say not so fast. Their act was a bust. KCAL News reporter. It's, I just want to watch the video. They got like a hundred grand, like a hundred thousand or something in insurance money. But what, you can watch how he gets in. I never saw, never seen a bear get in a car like that. Take a close look at this grainy security video. What do you see? A bear? An animal? Something else? It turns out state investigators say what you're looking at is a human dressed in a bear costume, staging what would turn out to be several insurance fraud claims to luxury vehicles, totaling a little more than $140,000. The suspects sent these videos to their insurance companies, claiming a bear tore up their cars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not a bear, only. Look, I like how they left the leaf in there. Throw a leaf in there and make it look more realistic. A bear's claws would have shredded that seat like it was Absolutely. nothing. Hell, how does he get a hundred thousand dollars out of that? It was a because it was a, like it, it was a, a like Phantom Rolls Royce or some shit like that. Uh, so it I was guess they needed money more than the car. Yeah, like like, but they probably couldn't sell it and. And that's what they came up with. You know what would have been more funny? If, like, somebody... Look, and look that bear left uh, all these perfectly, all the same size, and directly straight across in a row. Marks. You're right. That's it. Like, no thumb at all. <laughs> it's like, it's like I ain't never ball. seen a bear that had perfect... <laughs> like that. that bear did lines on the on the American flag. That, that's a, it was, uh, that was a cocaine bear? <laughs> Go Cane Bear, making lines. Well, my thing is, is uh, you know, it would have been uh, more funny is if the uh, some homeowner or, or neighbor would have come out and said, "Oh shit, a bear!" and like blasted his ass. Wow. 
Because what you going to do? You can't put him in jail for murder. He thought he was shooting a fucking bear. Oh, you know they try. Well, California, I mean, he's safe in California because people, you're not allowed to have a gun in California. I think you got to get a fucking permit to get a. No, you can't have one. You can have one, but there's a lot of uh, regulations behind it. I think you got to, like, take a a hundred hour course just to get a slingshot. (laughs) It's like. Well, I don't don't know what it is behind it. Like, I don't know what the laws are, but I know that I can ship a gun to California, but it has to be, like, broken down. And then before it gets there, then somebody in California has to put it back together. Some crazy thing like that. <laughs> oh, California and like New York. I don't think they got like stupid rules. Oh, uh, if you even got a gun, I, no, don't go to New York. Don't do it. Oh, I don't have no reason to go to New York. If I want to see shit, I can just go look in a porta can. <laughs> I like New York. That's like when he came. Well, he came down here and he's like, I want to go to New Orleans. I said, I'll bring you. I said, but if you want to experience New Orleans, just go and start, go smell a porta can because they smell the same. So, just it is. Aroma. I mean, to be fair, when we got there, uh, when we got there on his time, it was like bright early as shit. Yeah, I, th- so I said, I'm not going there at sleeping. nighttime. They were they were spraying the streets with the water hoses and the cannons and stuff and all the. It was nice and clean, so he did it right. His daughter yeah, traded some homeless dude. Cool. Her daughter, his daughter traded some homeless guy a uh, half drink uh, hot chocolate for some beads and all kind of stuff. Yeah, she wanted to go throw it away, and he's like, no, no, here, little girl, take these beads. I'll take a hot chocolate. So I'm, like, a little distracted. I'm sorry, guys. I posted a video earlier, and it's got people talking, and they're, which, like, back to me. Which one? The uh, one about my commissioner holding my certificate for me. Uh I don't think I see that one yet. I thought maybe, because like, I know you put something on there a, while, a few days ago. It's like, I'm dating somebody. It's like, every, oh, yeah. I was like, you know, like, she's like, all these people stop, like, about my shop. I'm like, because they weren't, they weren't doing that for the shop. I go, yeah, no, the call volume for the shop has dropped tr- dramatically. But I, I knew it was always fake, and I'm, I wish I would have just done this a long time ago, and that I was dating somebody that way well, I wouldn't d- be dealing with you know the dumbasses but um, I didn't and I just realized that I could have saved my time and effort Con- you know looking up how much a gun costs or how much ammo costs when they really didn't want to buy a gun or ammo in the first place and I, I think this is some of the stuff that I pulled some pictures down that you do this to the guns right like this yeah, you like I just did a couple this week. I can't you, post it. You dip it them or, huh? Do you dip them? Do I? No, no, I don't dip them. I so I cerakote it, and okay. all that's design. And then it, I use stencils, and then I take off the stencils at the end. So it's all cerakoted, but it's stencil work. Then you got this yeah, one, because I I like this one. I might end up having to get mine. I think you can get block. your damn service weapon like, modified like, to be like a Louis Vuitton. Like this one. I'm sure the hey, sheriff would probably go for that look. I like that one. That's a very grainy jet look. So I did one today. I, I just sent it to you, but just it was on text. But yeah, people are um, commenting on the video. I uh, oh. Well, that's neat. Somebody wanted that? Yeah. Watch, we can put it up here. I just uh, airdrop it to my computer here. What? 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 Hold on, I'm going to get it on here. Take me a second. I got to go to... I believe in you, buddy. You got this. You shut up. Yeah, so you got to look at the video I did today. And people are, like, trying to tell me, like, this legal advice. They're like, oh, just take my legal advice, and you should take down that video. It makes the department look bad. I'm like, if it's making them look bad, that's not on me. (laughs) 
YouTube lawyers. You gotta love it. Look, look, she did this. She said, she Oh, did. I love it. Somebody wanted a crayon yeah. gun. <laughs> yeah, so he's a Marine or ex Marine, and I guess they have something to do with crowns. Hey, yeah, once Marine, no, is Marine, and their favorite snack are crayons. Uh, okay. Yeah, my favorite is blue. But, hey, what's, but that is badass. I like it. And what have I always told you guys? The number one thing people are going to say if they know you have a gun on you is he pulled it, and the gun is black. So if you get your gun modified and add something to it, it's a hell of a lot better when you tell the officer, well, I hate to tell you, my gun ain't black. Yeah. Yeah, well. It'd be very hard to uh, steal it and then go try to pawn it, you know. So if everybody wants their, right. their, their guns custom, y'all look her up. In the Yvonne Williams Armory, get you get your gun painted a pretty color. We'll get holster one that looks like that's, that's got like little poop emojis on it. Little hair growth pills. Little hair growth pills on it. Yeah, yeah. So we get the fake bear attack. And Yvonne is next. We got a, a lady that was hearing noises in her house. All right, I did oh, not get to that one. So play the video and then I'll. I'll <laughs> okay, <laughs> get to it. Across Southern California, so perhaps that's why a group of alleged unsettling noises coming from beneath the floor of an El Sereno home reveals a frightening sight: a naked man who'd been living under the house for months. The 92-year-old woman living in the home had been hearing noises for some time. This, this news lady here, she looks like she don't know where the fuck she's at or something. Look at her. She's like, hey, who are you? Where am I? I've been too much drugs. Wait, look at her. She just, like, just, she's confused. The family thought it was just animals. Until last night when the sounds in the crawl space suddenly became alarming, so they called police. KTLA 5's Chris Wolf is live in El Sereno with the latest on this very disturbing story. Hi, Chris. Very disturbing court and Micah. Usually creatures that take refuge under your home have no legs like a snake or four legs like a cat or a squirrel or a raccoon. But this one had two legs, a name, and was doing dirty things in a dirt filled. <laughs> doing dirty. He's so dirty. He's doing dirty things under the house in the dirt. What could we do it in the dirt? Yeah, they got a chopper up, dude. Neighbor's security camera captures police officers swarming around a house in El Sereno on the ground and in the air late Thursday night. A woman visiting her 92-year-old mother and the mother's roommate heard strange knocking. Freaking 92-year-old woman got her got her living man. No, a live under man. No, when she hit the roommate. It's like, hey, Harold, go grab my effort in. I got some corn I want to eat. Well, look at this. Look at the size of the access portal. That's right here. That's a big old hole. That's fucking massive. Yeah, I would be having a lock on that. Yes, he might have had a flashlight uh, there, See, Bill. See, Bill learned what a flashlight but, but was. That's because he had to go Google it two weeks ago. Underneath the floor close to 11 look p.m. Donkey style. Her gut instinct Crazy. told her the source was human. She immediately called her husband and the LAPD and was shocked to discover an unwelcome visitor hiding in a crawl space. A naked man who investigators say was conducting lewd acts and refusing. Okay, he is doing lewd acts. Dude, why don't you just say he was whacking his meat? To leave well, the where dark did this naked depths. guy come from? Under yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Just whacking his meat under the house was, in the dark. Was he, was he looking at these elderly ladies? Or like, I, there has to be more contact. No. Uh, finish the story. Is there more to the story? Officers escorted the elderly homeowner to safety. You can see her wrapped in a blanket. We're told police initially tried to coax the man out, engaging in conversation and learning his name. 
but he wouldn't budge. Then witnesses say authorities used police dogs and rubber bullets without success. Finally, tear gas tipped the scales against the naked trespasser several hours after police arrived. Believe me, it's, it's a bizarre thing, but it's not probably uncommon. You know, in, in, in this day and age, people are looking for shelter. We had kind of on occasion heard noises, but it was usually late at night, right? And so we just chalked it off to being animals, being under the house, possums, raccoons, whatever, what have you. Neighbor Heather Strong, who did not want to go on camera, provided us with security footage showing a shirtless stranger walking to and from the elderly victim's well, home earlier on. Thursday evening. Yeah, where'd they he go? He appears to be wearing a medical mask. Strong does not know if he is the same individual who was caught hiding naked under her next door neighbor's house, but tells us she does not recognize the shirtless man. Oh shit, he came back? Neighbors tell me they plan to check their own crawl spaces on a regular basis now. Police identify that naked nuisance as Isaac Betancourt. They say he had food and blankets in that crawl space, Dead and he now faces court. charges, including trespassing. What about whacking his meat under the house? Could they get him for destruction of property? I mean, if he left jizz on it or something? So he probably was down there, and what happened... And what it sounds like is he was probably down there and that was his like house and got naked to like what you would do at your house, right? And somebody caught him. That's when the police showed up. And well, so because he, he was thing. If he would have been oh, whacking off making noise. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably like, what happened. I mean, but there's not much space under a home. I, I don't I just I the whole story is awkward. Well they in California I could he could have got a crawfish hole or something, but he can not can do that in California. Just living under you the house. anything weird to a crawfish hole, you got you you're a, you're a gutsy fam. <laughs> I'm got just these little things down there in Louisiana that just pop out of the ground. They're like, hey. Yeah, he came down here and he was like, ask me what all the little dirt things were in the yard. I'm like, crawfish hole. <laughs> and then it rained, and they were all like, hello. They it's were weird. not. But yeah, what would you do if you had found a, a naked man under your house? Me? Well, good thing I have it where it's uh, like a I have I'm on a foundation, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but you know, I'm surprised I haven't got more stalkers, to be honest. So I'm sure people are doing oh, certain. I read. Me too. Seat. I mean, I've been wondering where all my stalkers are as well. Huh? Yeah. Well. Yeah, but me, I mean, I have stalkers out the yin yang over me. It's just, you do? Yeah, uh, yeah. Just, they, they come out the woodwork. I got to beat them off with a stick. Yeah. I, was, I was at Walmart the other day, and I, they was a, I walked down the aisle, and there was a whole thing of fans just sitting there staring at me. They were on sale for $20, and it was a display, but it was fans. It was box fans. But, uh, <laughs> they're my fans. <laughs> you finally got it. It finally hit you. There you went. I don't think it got me. It's over. My <laughs> the fans. Hey, yeah, the box, box fan. They were just the, all my fans were sitting there staring at me. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that one just just did not go over well. But anyway, a ninety three year old lady. I don't think he was whacking off to her. I don't. I mean, she would see an eyeball or something. I think he was just whacking off. He's just a horny, crazy person. It was just like that was his house, yeah. you know. That was his house, yeah. and he was just doing normal things at his house. You I mean, know? They, they she could have not called the cops and probably could have rented it out. Right, Bill? You want <laughs> give me twenty call. bucks a month to live in my dirt? You just got wear pants when you leave. Uh, there's the next I mean, one. I want to know. They said they put they sent police dogs and they used rubber bullets and gas and it didn't work. How could them police dogs would have tore his naked ass up under there? They didn't let him go in the hole. They made him just bark. It's got it. Yeah, it's got to be. Go, go get it, boy. Speaking of dogs, this next one they had this 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 dog. His name's Licorice. Okay, that's intimidating as hell, right? A dog named Licorice. Uh, black Licorice, because that stuff's nasty. Yes, black Licorice is nasty. Uh, now, you can get a tractor supply, and they have root beer flavored Licorice, and it is delicious. Really? Yes. There you go. Yeah, so if you like root beer flavored stuff, yes, 
this this oh. I do. Root, I'm writing that down. Tractor Supply has root. You, you look in a little candy thing. It's kind of like the old timey candy. They got root beer flavored liquors. It's delicious. Uh, but anyway, this dog liquors. He failed. Uh, he failed. The the he did not pass. Uh, K nine school to be a uh, service dog didn't quite make the cut, but old Licorice uh, did find himself a new home at a police station, and now he is their their emotional support dog at the police station. And I could understand it. You can go off a bad call, you come in, you can pet the dog, get you some face licks and stuff like that. And I mean, it would be nice. So this is Licorice. He is a, a one of them labber poodle butt dogs that people golden doodles or poodles or whatever phantom poodle whatever they call I don't know they call it he's some he, he he's one of them uh, hybrid dogs that they they want to charge you a lot of money for and we just called them mutts because they were mixed breed but now they mix dogs and they sell them to you for high dollars but this is him and uh, he is now happily and no they don't Bill. Uh, happily employed as a uh, uh, emotional support dog at the police station for the cops. Uh, Bill said, uh, "Black jelly beans rule." No, they don't. You throw black jelly beans in the garbage, or at people you don't like, or at people you don't like. No, see, I always said if I ever like, which it'll never happen. If I ever like had my own office, you know how people put like candy on their desk when people come in and stuff like that. Or, and they just like take your shit and don't ask for it. I was gonna have a jar of jelly beans because I love jelly belly jelly beans. The only thing was the ones I left out for the regular people. I was gonna throw a whole bunch of them bamboozled fucking jelly beans up in there too. <laughs> so when somebody come and took them my jam jelly beans, they might get you know a vomit flavored one or some shit like that. You just sit there and watch uh, yeah. them. See, see, see. I played that shit with my kids at one time, man. Them things could be nasty. Oh yeah, yeah. I did it and got the, the the like the the rotten fish one. Yeah, I I just about hacked it up. It was hard. You never played Bean Boozled? No. Yeah, it's it's the jelly beans and they look like regular jelly beans and it could be a regular flavored, you know, like strawberries and cream, or it could taste like vomit or boogers or dead fish grass. or grass sure. or Dirty socks or uh, what's a oh spoiled and milk? Obviously, it's artificial flavor. Yeah, right? spoiled milk. Uh, the the rotten egg woods is horrible too. Oh yeah, it'll make you want. It'll make you throw up. Okay, because I, I, I game. yeah, it's a great game because you don't know which one you're gonna get. I think I'll leave that to you, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we had a I had an old family podcast we used to do. Me, the wife, uh, kids, step kids. I love us like that. And uh, just uh, at the end of that podcast, every time, every week when we, it was weekly, we used to do it. And uh, at the end of it, we had to be to be boozled, and everybody had to pick one, and we'd eat it live on air. And uh, <laughs> it was quite funny. So. Especially when you get the nasty ones. But yeah, Bill, I, I got smart enough in my office. The only thing I left out was pens because I got tired of it. They do. I actually turned around one time and had somebody trying to empty. I had one of those one gallon air or uh, hand sanitizer things. I turned around and was doing taxes. The lady was emptying my container into her hand sanitizer bottle. I'm like, what the fuck? No, dude, you, you That's can't. because you were in the hood. Yeah, you had, you had crackheads hanging outside the front door. It was they were fun. It was never a dull moment. <laughs> you know, tweaker's gonna tweak, homie. Is this next one me? Yes, we're going to the LP. All right, coming out of Livingston Parish, uh, Deputy Shea Sporting Good Shop, Sporting Good Store Shoplifter into Tangipahoa Parish. Tangipahoa, my uh, Tangipahoa. No, it's Tangipahoa. Look, I got close enough fucker session. Anyway, these little tangipahoe assholes were uh, hanging out in Denham and decided that they were going to go in there and steal a whole bunch of shit. Uh, fled from them. And then let's see where we're at. Uh, Sheriff Jason Hart said Wednesday the deputies gave chase after the Tuesday night incident involving two women who took items from the store. They uh, tried to stop them. They sped away. Chase uh, ran from Jubin Road Interchange uh, 
with Interstate 12 to the end of Hines Road in Tangible Ho. It's just south of better. Tangible Ho Parish. At Red Oak Road, deputies deployed spikes to the duh. They had warrants. Surprise. These young You're ladies looking at. Are, uh, you don't understand. I know where all this is at. This, this chase was, this chase was probably like thirty or forty miles total from where they they left at Juven and end up getting caught because I I believe they stole the stuff out of the academy and they basically stole some Stanley Cups. That's it. Yeah. Not like the Stanley Cup, like that belongs in Tampa Bay. No, like, no, like the the the, the, the more important one that you can put your sweet tea in. And they will survive a car fire. So you got a video of this one? No, 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 no video. But I, I did talk to a guy today no, by I accident. Likes. During lunch, I went and uh, when I went and ate, I actually talked. This guy was talking to me, and he's talking about. And, uh, he said it came right by his house, and he was telling me about it. He said it was crazy. He said he said, and it was all over some Stanley Cups. He's like, it was. I mean. You're looking at a 30 mile car chase. They, they wasn't giving up. Fuck that. You ain't stealing out here. Uh-uh. Well, I mean, in Louisiana, you do go to you know prison for life for smoking a joint. So um, that is a strong possibility. He did not get that. life for smoking a joint. He, got, right. life he got life for life being for selling a dime no, bag. no. He got life because he was a third time felon. Three strike rule in Louisiana. He got life Dude, for three strikes. That's, that's not a felony. Come on, man. Trash bag should be a felony. Three strikes. Three. He got three. That's why he got life. He didn't get it because he was smoking weed. I know that upset you. It upset you a lot. I'm just, I'm just angry that the one thing <laughs> that sent him away for life is so fucking minute. Like, my dude, if you're going to do something, fucking go ham, I guess. Like, I, I just can't believe he fiddle part as well. He, he gets the shittiest life sentence of the This woman. Everybody else talking about. I'm assuming this is a woman. Yes, I'm assuming gender. I'm assuming this is a woman. You can do that now. This. She looks like a little. Uh, like like a. Her hair is just like very. A bottle brush. Fluffy. Bottle brush. Yeah. Or, or, yeah, or a toilet cleaner. Yeah. Like one of them things you can. Yeah. Look at it. It's very fluffy. That man at the end is very serious. He is yes, this man, he, he was very mad because he he didn't even get to drink out of his Stanley Cup. Oh, and did you did you, did you, re, you didn't read which they were trying to get away from the cops in the Grand Marquis? Oh, yeah. Well, no, not from that department. A Grand Marquis, <laughs> a Mercury Grand Marquis car. <laughs> yes. You can do it in the Marauder. But not a, it's not a, a Mercury, Grand Marquis. I guarantee you this car probably wasn't that great of shape. <laughs> well, you know, so I've got a Camaro now, and it's funny. I'll, the people that go by me on the interstate are like Honda Civics. You know, you, you'd oh, be yeah. underestimated by how fast they can go. You got a V8? Yeah, V8, 440 horsepower. I mean, I'm not like hauling butt. I'm just saying. No, you know it's I'm fast? And they'd like fly by me. You know what's fast? People, people, I've been outrun by two of them. In like, I, like, like, and I was like in pursuit and like lost sight of them. Like it, a Camry? It, uh-uh. Freaking no. Maximas. Oh, yeah. These are Maximas are fast as fuck. I'm telling you. I was one of the car chases. I was in, I was in a, a, a Caprice with a, with a LT1 Corvette engine in my unit. Four pursuits. I was running over. I was I was at like a hundred and thirty something miles an hour. If I wasn't scared, I was going to kill myself on it because we were on the shoulder on the Chaffalla Basin Bridge. Uh, they walked off and left me, and I was running one hundred and thirty. I still had yeah. And I was, I was like, they were just gone. I was like, shit. <laughs> I think they don't care. Like it seems to be idiots that drive those cars. And Young just, and bulletproof. They haul, they haul ass everywhere they go. No, he he wasn't bulletproof because he he they're doing like serious time now, because that's the ones that uh I chased uh I chased them in the St. Martinville St. Martin Parish in Bro Bridge, they ended up stealing a a, a brand new Mac, uh, tractor, no the truck the eighteen wheeler oh, just a tractor yeah they they stole the Mac 
that night off the lot. Somebody had left the damn keys in it. And then they went to, they, they got, ended up getting caught in some little podunk town in Mississippi. But the, they, this guy was, they were wanted out of Alabama. They, for He was like wanted out of Georgia for, for uh, parole violation. Not probation, but so parole they violation. Caught, they were going he, back, he was back. wanted out of Georgia. And he was like wanted in Alabama. He was wanted in Mississippi for an attempted armed robbery. He stopped in New Orleans, stole the license plate. Then I chased him. Then they done grand theft of a you know ninety thousand, hundred thousand dollar truck they stole. And, and oh yeah, they were wanted all over the place, it's like Bonnie and Clyde. And uh, when I retire, I might put it on Patreon coming up or something. But uh, I got a picture of him after he got arrested because uh, like uh. Like this little podunk Mississippi cop, probably you know, got thirty people in this town called me up. Said, "Said you chasing them fellas?" I said, "Yeah, I sure did." He said, well, "Me and my beagle dog, my beagle dog tracked them down. He was hiding in the bush." No, I'm dead serious. This is a true story. No, I, he said, my, my, "My beagle dog tracked them down." He said, "And it was the damnedest thing." He said, "He stood up real fast and he hit his head on the butt of my shotgun, knocked himself clean <laughs> out." He said, you want a picture? I got a picture of dude, like blood and shit running down his face. He, he said, it was the damnedest thing. He sat it real fast and hit himself in the head with my gun. <laughs> I was like, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Thanks, old timer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, my Caprice was badass. The only thing bad about it was, it was constantly clogging up on. Uh, Freaking, uh, I can't remember what they call it, but I was always getting this one thing on the inch uh, un- redone. So, anyway, don't steal shit in Lewis and Parish because they will chase you down over a cup. They're not playing. They, they, that's no bullshit. That's where I stole my, my red pizza hut cup. And and the sheriff of LP has been chasing me forever because of it. Some hair pills ain't working. Look at it. It's just a little fuzz on no, top of your head there. That, you know what pisses me off? It, it's this fucking lighting we have to use. Yeah, oh, it's the show. lighting that's doing that to your yeah, hair? No, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's like not that thin. Like It's, it's not that thin. Too. Just why don't you just shave that little piece off right in the middle? Because it's not. Remember, that's what makes me an island boy. I'm an island boy. See the okay. shit? I'm not going to on the fucking trunk of the car. <laughs> fucking, you know that thing on there? I got into the trunk and fuck, bam. I was like, ah, oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Took my hat off and started bleeding. Oh, we got Ivana's next, and uh, we got a Connecticut cop that is uh, got his uh, internet fame. You gotta play the video, so I didn't get that. <laughs> I love it. She get along free bird. Yeah, she get along free bird. Great. Beneath the floor of an El Sereno hall. Veterans and one of Connecticut's own made it to the stage as a contestant. News Ace Bob Wilson has the story of a son who pushed to get his. I want to say this. I, I I don't watch Wheel of Fortune. I never have. And when I did, I suck at it. Okay, probably I don't watch. It. I can never guess the fucking question. The answers, even if they're like in my face. Father on one them. letter left, and I'm like, uh, show, and the dream that finally came true. Tonight, the Wheel of Fortune was renamed Will of Fortune for Will Jordan, retired Coast Guard veteran, Newington police sergeant, and school resource officer. He watches the pre-taped show tonight at TJ's in Newington with a hundred of his closest friends. His son, Sean, got him the golden ticket to the game show glitter of Tinseltown. Every night we would watch the show, and he did, like, pretty good, so I thought, like, he would be a good contestant for the show. Filled out the application. Five months later, we were out in Ireland actually celebrating my in-law's 50th wedding anniversary and we got the call well and his family got to meet vanna white i gotta say one thing i didn't know pat sajak retired or did he die i don't know but but they got ryan suck butt up here doing that job now like i mean vanna she still looks like she's 30 years old and i think she what just made 99 or something like that Oh, man. Well, she's probably got more spent in her plastic surgery than the rest yeah because she stopped aging now i think like 35 or something like that if, if that. <laughs> Crest before the show. You know, there's a lot going on, right? You got producers, you got the cameras, the mic guy, and, you know, it's kind of overwhelming, to be honest with you, right? So, we, uh, but everyone was super nice. They really treat us veterans very good. And then after the speed round, Will took a swing for the fences. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Okay, Will, let's hear it. 
Treat yourself a round of sausage. <laughs> Treat yourself a round of sausage. I mean, what the, first like of that. all, what the fuck is a round of sausage? Well, <laughs> I, huh, I've known a few. Never mind. I mean, what is a round of sausage? That's like all the circle jerk holes there. That's just not, that's not a round of sausage. It's a round of sausage. It's, well, it's a bunch man. of sausages around. He, maybe he was hungry. I don't know. Maybe he was hungry. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> he, 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 sale, right? <laughs> he was like, I got this. I got this. Sausage. I'm thinking, oh, my God, six, eight million people just watched the incorrect answer. And it's kind of funny, too. I have to say, nothing inappropriate, but it was a little funny. And I a little gasp in the, in the audience. Tonight, as Wilna's friends watched the theatrics, <laughs> he started a raffle and is raising more than $1,000 for the local Around food the bank sausage. just in time for Thanksgiving. And he's also looking out for his fellow veterans. What it is is he's raising money for the coming up pride parade for Round Sausage. <laughs> I want to bring so awareness to these. Good. Oh. See, oh. It's fun, you know? Oh, yeah. It was uh, treat yourself to a round of applause is what the answer was, but uh, a sausage, yeah. yeah. But he's doing good. But what the hell is these fucktards still doing up there? Uh, well, he's at the county jail looking for a round of sausage. He's not at the county jail. I don't know what Because we have parishes. Well, to the rest of the world, sir. You have county jail. Negative. Uh, I'm reading these comments. I can see it on the side. It says, uh, Bill said Ivana's thinking these guys are whacked. <laughs> yeah. She's like, what did I do? Yes. This is my second time on here, so I kind of uh, knew what I was getting myself into. I've been a little calmer oh. tonight. Oh, y'all did another one? Not at the beginning. You got me restricted, I think, from <laughs> I got, uh, TikTok. Yeah, like two seconds. I mean, I was like, I don't even know what I did. Oh, uh, let's see what we got next. We got the sausage. Oh, we got this one. This is me. Look, they got, uh, I forgot, to, we'll figure out where this happened at, uh, which state. But we got these two fucked hard parents. Uh, I just used, uh, I just used Chad's word, fucked hard. That uh, their kid got charged with uh, battery at school in uh did he charge a battery? No, no. He got the kid like hit somebody or something and got charged with battery. And then the parents come up there, you know, because he's a juvenile. Well, we're going to find out why the the kid's the way he was very shortly. This is in a, guess where this is at? I'll never guess. It's fucked up parent. It's in Florida. It's in Florida. Well, then, you know, it's going to be in <laughs> Florida. We, we got we got body cam video. By the way, there is now. Connecticut's old man. made it to the stage as a There's an app called Florida Man. So this is off the no. the SRO's body cam. Parents going to be up top. Understand the frustration of the whole situation. I'm sorry. No idea. Okay. Well, let's let's continue. Let's. Let's forget about the, I'm sorry here, I'm sorry there. Let's go. Hey, you Russian or something? What kind of accent is that? Uh, it, it ain't Floridian. Spanish English? Not Floridian. What we have to take care of. What you can do is, like I was just explaining, when this process goes through court, you can explain your side of the story to the judge. It's ultimately going to be up to the judge what is going to happen from here on out what i is made a determination on is the kids right here i believe in this blurred out area uh, yeah i get it probable cause alone which just means that that he was the primary aggressor no. being that the primary this aggressor is, this isn't an argument yet. see this is when i was saying though we charged your kid you will be notified in the mail or how this how we do it anyway in Louisiana. You'll be notified in the mail when you got to bring him back to court because they're obviously not placing him in the detention center or nothing. So, uh, you know, oh, ma'am, sorry, I'm not going to argue with you about it because it's just going to it's not going to end well. That's what court's for. Uh, Y'all have a nice day. 
Get them out of your office. Don't stop. Stop trying to appease these motherfuckers so much. Okay. I mean, what's your like, your customer service for you is going to be bad. I mean, yes. you you know yes. you did a good job when everybody when oh, when you're on the call when you're on a call as a cop. You know you did a good job when you leave and everybody's pissed off. Got <laughs> him. Okay, and that's I'm, a gonna, I'm gonna finish this okay, conversation. So you, 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 you fail and keep. Kid, okay, that, that's okay. You are failing kids right here. We're not talking about us because believe me, if it were about the adults, we can solve this a whole different different level. So we are talking about a kid if, that I'm fooling. Now I'm telling you, I'm not gonna raise your voice at me. Okay, You're not yes, gonna I am going voice. to do. Okay. Guess what? Because I pay the salary. Okay, what happened to you? Okay, why are you so worthless? Do you okay, do you feel do you feel you proud that you are this worthless lady? Okay, hold on. Do you feel this proud I'm that you are this you worthless? Shut the fuck up time. because I'm I paid your salary. You don't pay. I love it when. Uh, Go ahead. I can't. Typical line. I pay your salary. Yep. Okay, thanks for your two cents. Yeah, I love that because guess what, you son of a bitch, I pay taxes too. Yeah. And so that well, means he does. I promise. Yeah, I pay taxes. That means I'm paying my own salary. Well, like, okay. I mean, like, it literally, it, it doesn't even equate to two cents, but it just, so the people hear things and then they just keep on with it. And I'm like, you guys, come up with I something told everybody else. I need a fucking raise then. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. But this guy here, so we know we know where the, the kid's aggression's coming from, obviously. This is going to happen. That's what happened. Look, look, what is going to happen? I'm what is going to happen? You Papi. need to leave. You are a worthless piece of shit. Yeah, go back up. No wonder you, you, you no one, no you one that you're leave. fucking died. You need to leave. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. But don't worry, we're gonna keep this high. You need to leave. You are. Okay, you put your hand in my face right one more time. Hey, I'm a fucking issue. Don't do that. Who the fuck are you? Of course, now the 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 school teacher or whoever this 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 guy is over here, he done got all up in the way. Yes, yeah, he's the teachers. <sighs> no. So he done pushed her down. This is him basically on top of her. Uh, unfortunately, there's too female many. Officer? Too, yeah, female cop. Unfortunately, there's too many people around. She pulls her firearms and probably going to hit somebody else. <laughs> because she done dropped her taser. And if you saw the light, guess who's got the taser in their hand right there? Oh, no. Then he needs to be put down. But you got you got civilian teacher, whatever the hell is, wife. You got the kid. I mean. If he's got the taser, he is a threat. Oh, I know. But, which, I mean, but, but you got this fucker in the way. She comes out with the gun. See, what, this is when you still need to carry chemical weapon because uh, if, if this would have been me, you see all these people right here that all been crying because I'd have hosed every fucker down right here. Every one of them. Yeah. Did you carry a uh, chemical? Uh, uh, no, I did not carry no. it. I had it. But no, I didn't want that stuff flying around. <laughs> I love first brand people. It's like you are, just like you are with tasers. You two are opposites. <laughs> uh, well, I never, I never had to tase anybody. I there's one time I had, I sh probably should have pulled the taser, but another trooper ended up showing up and he pulled his taser. But the guy was like high on some on coke, so I just calmed the other trooper down. I was like, no, 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 he he's fucked up. He doesn't know what he's doing. Just Stop trying to point the taser because we were going in a circle and he was pointing the taser at me because I'm trying to get the hell out away from it. And, then <laughs> and so we're like just doing this big one circle and I'm finally like, just stop. And then he's like, oh, OK. And he puts the taser right. I'm like, thank God. But I mean, he was a big old boy. Like he was six, five, 300 something pounds. Like I didn't really know what the hell I was about to do because that taser wouldn't have affected him any. And we just you got to like talk to them. You know, you gotta learn to verbal judo. 
Yeah, exactly. He did. He did not understand anything. It was like, I'm sure if he wasn't so fucked up, he would have been like a beast. But him being in that capacity, it was like he was a big teddy bear. He was just like, oh, okay, like you know. <laughs> and I was like, sit down. Oh, okay. Like it, it was just very. Everything was slow to him. It's. I mean, you could tell. So. Luckily, I never had to pull out a taser, but I'd much rather do a taser than a some mace. Oh, I love it. It's chemical. Put your hands behind your fucking back now. Jenny needs to calm down. Yeah, stop. 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 down a little bit. I can tell her. She's had a bad adrenaline jumper j- dump at this moment. You can I can hear it in her voice. What, what, what's this dude doing? Praying over him or something? You, you got the black Mr. Rogers with his green sweater on. Is that a female yeah. officer? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's, see, that's embarrassing right there. Um, and I'm not saying she can't handle her, her job or anything, but you got some other person handling the guy. And then he's got to get the guy handled before she comes in and, like, you know? And, I mean, like, do your job. You know, you got to do what you can do at the time. But at the same time, like, it was like she was standing off and letting somebody else handle her job. And I don't know. It's just. Little, well, my thing is, is, uh, is Mr. Tough Guy over there probably, is my opinion now, he probably wouldn't have acted like that if it would have been a, a big male cop standing in front of him. Like oh, that. hell no. If I, 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 I'm willing to bet if I was standing in front of this dude, he would not have tried that shit. No, they'd have stood and watched while you two wrestled the fucking floor. No, I'm saying I don't think the guy would have got aggressive like that with me. There, no, I because I will disagree. <laughs> no, well, all right, so I'm not going to disagree, but I'm kind of right there in the middle with that one because – yeah, there there might be some guys that are, are going to like, oh, I'm not going to try that man. You know, I'm not, yeah, you know, yes, sir, no, sir, let's get it out of here. And then later on in the car, like, F him, all that, right? But at the same time, being a female, I have noticed that I have gotten things to calm down, and they think I'm cool as shit by the end of it. They're like, man, you're pretty cool. You, you seen anybody <laughs> afterwards? You know, uh, but... If it was a man, their ego would have like went up here and would have been like, nah, you're not going to talk to me like this. So I'm kind of torn on that. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm just saying because you could tell she was a smaller statured woman. Oh, yeah. She, she, I think it has more to do with this, the suspect being more of a foreign nature. It, there's a lot of personalities from a lot of different So she'd offered him a taco. No, that don't deal with women having authority at all. Well, um, like for instance, there's you know. Oh, if he'd have been Muslim, it'd have been really bad. The Middle Eastern, well, even in the Latino cultures, the husband is still the boss. You know, I mean, it's just that's the way it is. So it's to think that he's being told what's going to happen to his son because there's a woman sitting across from him that could have played into it. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. I mean, to grab a taser from a cop, you have to be fucking suicidal. If you grab anything on my belt, the odds of you going home just went to a lot less than 50-50. Yep. So, let's move on. He's done caught him some felonies. So. Yeah. And it's going to look real good when I say, well, we know where the kid's getting it from because look at the man right there. It's like, they well, didn't share a cell. They can call it bonding time. They could. You know, they could have my daddy and son time, and, you know, they could share, you know, uh, honey buns with white icing on them at the jail if they have commissary money. It's like kind of like, oh, like when his daughter came, when they came down, I brought him to Ann Gold and stuff, and we, you know, looked in the museum and all that stuff. Well, his daughter goes, this was over Thanksgiving break a few years back, and uh, so they go back to school in you know, they guess what y'all do on your Thanksgiving break? And my gamer tag was Dirty D. And that's how I me and him actually met was playing games on PlayStation. Uh, but uh, so they just call me Dirty most of the time. And she's, she goes, his daughter goes back to school and tells the teacher that their uncle Dirty took him to prison and taught him how to make shanks. So, 
and, and and the teacher knew that my you know the whole family and all of our friends are law enforcement so she called and she goes i wasn't really worried but it was a weird sentence to hear from a child it's like yeah <laughs> She's my crazy one. Got to be able to make a good shank. Uh, now we're going to, to Chicago. So this one I'm just basically, uh, do you want me to just brief over it? Or yeah, you can just we, brief it. So the uh, the, the leftist Chicago mayor uh, has been uninvited again from the funeral of fallen officer Enrique Martinez. Um, the uh, Of course, you know, Chicago is well known for not having good leadership but uh he did make a comment stating that he would uh go to the funeral alongside the uh the chicago police department and uh, the grieving family has uh, they reiterated that they didn't want any politicians at the uh the funeral just like uh there had been another officer that had been killed and they told the governor to uh stay the hell away um there is no room for uh political involvement when it comes to officers and their families, uh, it should be families and friends. It was probably because his great policies got this cop killed. Oh yeah, oh it is definitely. That, well, I don't know if it was his. Chicago has had a shitty policy since. Well, we had Beetlejuice, and now you got him right here. So I put yeah, Brandon Johnson in the porter cam with Duke shitting on his head because he's just a piece of shit. Guy, Chicago. Uh, she may not be able to see the podcast. Oh, I don't know. Can you see that? Oh. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. She's like, what the hell is he doing? I know when I call in sometimes, all I can see is the like the outline. If it don't show me anything else. See, what is he doing? <laughs> Making shit up. Yeah. Got our last story. Rivana going to Texas. Yeah. It's actually a, a like not a funny story. Is there a video? Uh, no, there's not. You got to actually talk on this one. <laughs> well, I was, uh, I saw it, so let me pull it up. Because he got murdered by his, these kids, these, these grandkids. Or these two, the, well, this is supposed to be a girl up here, I'm assuming. But uh, these two girls. Like grandfather murdered by two young women in plot to steal iPhone 15. I don't know, that's not how you say that word. Um, so old Texas man was reportedly shot and killed in the Oak Cliff area of Dallas after attempting to sell a cell phone on the Facebook marketplace, according to reporting, according to reporting from the Dallas police department, authorities reported in a release via DPD beat. I don't know his last name was found suffering from a gunshot wound when police responded to shooting report on November 8th at approximately 3 p.m. I'm going to kind of skip a little bit on the 14th marshals was assembled and arrested 19 year old and connection to the murder. And four days later arrested the 14 year old. Um, so they just stole, I mean, they killed him for a cell phone. It's pretty much that sums it up yeah. for an iPhone yeah. 15. It wasn't even a brand new one. Yeah. So, it's rare. I mean, we don't hear about that a lot down here. I mean, you've got, by their names, it seems like they're uh, Middle Eastern. Alkahalaf. It's it's. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, I agree with you. Um, so we just had something like that over here in Jackson, and it's been on the news the past couple nights talking about being safe when you buy stuff off like Facebook Marketplace. Like they were shot. These people were trying to sell their car, and they were shot at McDonald's parking lot here in Jackson. Which that's nothing new i mean people get shot every day here in jackson but it's it just shows me that you can't trust anybody it makes me nervous going on and i'm a big guy i'm bringing guns stuff. when when sometimes it makes me nervous when you go when i go buy stuff off of uh facebook marketplace like like when i bought my little white van out there uh i had Freebird come with me because i was like we were like in baton rouge like down on the North Baton Rouge, down like in the hood hood, where like all the shooting and shit take place. I didn't want to get robbed. Uh, the guy was super nice though. I didn't get robbed. And, uh, well, Bam sent me to pick up a critter cage one day and I pulled up and I sent her a picture outside of the house 
that the GPS brought me to. And I was like, okay. I said, how much life insurance do I have on me? Because I was waiting for the Adams family to come walking out this fucking house, okay? Of course, I was at the wrong house. But I was like, yeah, you're trying to set my ass up, aren't you, to get to get murderized. But, uh, yeah, this is pathetic that they, they, both these these young girls, look at her neck. Full of tat- I mean, I got tattoos, but, I mean, just. I mean, what were they going to, like, Share the iPhone a thousand dollar, maybe what a five six hundred dollar phone. I mean, yeah, you can go to the, the store and get it free. No, the new's like a sixteen or something like now. Like you can go to the store and get on their plan, which you're going to need a plan anyway, and you pay like ten bucks a month. So what's the point of? I, obviously, obviously that was drug related. Yeah, you paying ten dollars a month? I need to be on your phone that's, plan. That's yeah. Well, no, it's, I mean, $10 a month for the phone, so you're not paying like 800 bucks at one time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, for some reason, we lost Facebook feed. Uh, I just, because I, I, like I, I saw the numbers drop off, and I just went and looked, and Facebook is not live. I don't know what happened. Either I got kicked <laughs> off or, or, oh or, or it just dropped for some reason. So, uh, and the people that are, we got people on X and LinkedIn and Rumble watching. Uh, if anyone of y'all would like to vote on the hot nut story, since all my normal people are not in here right now, uh, we, I'm going to vote on the fake bear people because that's just stupid. They they deserve yeah. a hot nut, the the fake bear. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. I mean, dude, it, it, there's no way that even remotely looked like a real claw. No. I said- the one where she jumped in the river for the dog and the guy got arrested. arrested. The river rat. We'll call it the river rat. Yeah. Uh, that one was good too. Uh, like I said, I don't know if anyone else is going to vote because most of the people in here right now are not going. Yes, y'all put in the chat. We're going to vote on on the fake bear story where the people committed insurance fraud, dressing up in a bear costume, tore up their uh, Rolls Royce and shit, trying to get money, and they got this lady that this. Uh, a little dog had slipped its harness while this little old lady was doing it, and the dog. The old lady threw that fucking the, dog in the river. The so dog jumped lady. in a river, and this woman jumped in and saved the dog. And when they got her out, they were trying to get information to write their report, and she was like two sheets to the wind. She was drunk at Cooter Brown and ended up having warrants and got herself arrested after saving the dog. So she uh, told her she was traveling, not driving. She, she wasn't even driving; she was on foot. Exactly. I'm, I'm I'm my own country. I'm a sovereign walker. Sovereign. What the hell is that over there? Is that Duke? No. What, that, my cat? Oh. <laughs> like, what that, was, was that coming out from behind me? So. Yeah. Anybody What's in chat want to say anything? Just, Nobody's going to say no. anything. Well, my normal people, when I, most of my normal people are on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, yeah. I got. I got to sit down How this weekend. Oh, How many people are watching well, we only got Facebook? six right now. But fa- well, if we had, if we were on Facebook, I'd have more. This is just the other one. We've went on. We've had over two hundred on some. Sometimes it just depends. Your people don't watch my trashy podcast. <laughs> I, I get restricted. I'm going to have to try to see if I can get back on. Uh, that's why I told you be careful on TikTok with me because. Uh, like I said, TikTok don't like me for some reason. Uh, that's why I got. I, I, I look at everybody. Also, I don't know where y'all watching. Either follow me on on X or Rumble. So when I get kicked off these other platforms, like I said, I got kicked off of Twitch. Uh, I'm just surprised Facebook and YouTube ain't got me yet. Uh, Rumble and uh, X lets me talk the way I want to. So and they're both free. Yeah, he, Rumble's free he too. Got guy one off Feet Finder too. Yeah. Feet Finder. Yeah, he's trying to pay them bills, y'all. He needs more damn Holstera growth pills. That was hair over him. You look at him, buy you find some penis pills to make. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was funny. Like restrict me, and then somebody else goes and sends me a message saying, "Like you're so they're so trashy. Why would you go on their podcast?" Because because we're, we're average Joe Americans. How am I trashy? I take a bath every day. I don't stick. I have cologne. Right. I'm uh, kind of trashy. I mean, that's kind of my thing is like stay trashy. Well, well you know, people, some people, I know a lot of people don't like the way I talk. So I'm like, fuck them. I don't care. You got to like me. 
I ain't sleep with I my mean, like, I don't really, I don't cuss very much, you know. No, I, I do. I do cuss a lot. But, uh, but, like, was we not supposed you to do, cuss on this one? Why, you know, it shouldn't affect me. Like, I don't care what you do. Like, yeah, that's just, that's just some people. They, they're just jealous that I know you and they don't. That's it. <laughs> that's all I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's what people don't realize. I don't care. So, cause, you know what? I, I tell people, it's like, you know, you can do what you want to with me. It's like, I, I got a job. I mean, so I don't I don't make enough money on here to retire. Trust me. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe one day. But uh, like I said, not everybody likes Dan Bongino either. Or Joe Rogan or all them other people. So I'm the Gen X. I'm a Gen Xer. That's why they don't like the way I talk because I hurt people's feelings. Everybody off with the filter. Like oh, my filter. Yeah, well, hopefully soon it'll come off. They can see my real ugly face, right? I hope so, not. We'll lose followers. <laughs> Fuck. I guess we just give it both. I'm going to give it to the fake bear and the the rat lady. I don't have pictures of them to put up. About to play some. The drunk lady was the one wearing the costume. It maybe it was. We're going to play more original music that I wrote all my own lyrics to. I'm off. Hot, hot, hot nut. What a fucking dumbass. Hot nut, your mom should have swallowed you. You are a fucking hot nut. A true fucktard. Hot nut, your dad would be disappointed if you knew who he was. Hot nut of the week. Who does that? Your brain is made of nuts. You must have eaten Danny Cum Cakes to be a hot nut like you. Shit, you such a hot nut. I think you have birds seen on your face. Free birds start nutting on them. Hostera, put that up. I said, no, no, you can't nut on them. Damn, watch, don't do that. You nasty fuckers. Hot nut gets the crew excited, as you can see. Be happy, it's only for a week. Do better, hot nut. You Oh man, I just thought of something while I was playing. Oh God, <laughs> I'm thinking again, everybody. Yes, I'm gonna make a new T-shirt, y'all. Say, trashiest podcast around. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It's selling right? hot Huh? Oh, you don't know what did? I said it like hot. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they might. They might. I thought you said you didn't know what Denny cum cakes were. I was going to explain it to you. That was that cop that was down here that's doing life imprisonment now for like yeah. all kind of petty, pedo stuff. But his wife was a school teacher and he had like whacked off in these cupcake mix and they baked them and they, she brought them to school and fed them to all these kids and shit like that. Sick. They're in jail now. Sick, they're, they're in prison, yeah. Uh, sick, sick people, yeah. Oh yeah, so it's a, it's called a, it's called a cum cake. I know a trooper that I know this trooper that his kid was in one of the classes. I'm like, hey, did your kid eat one of them cupcakes? He's like, no. I was like, you're a lying bastard. You answered too fast. Yeah, they were delicious. <laughs> I said, did you eat any? He's like, I eat the whole fucking. Like, yeah, changed the whole school system. Now nobody's act that nobody's allowed to bring homemade baked goods to school for any class things. Everything's got to be prepackaged. Well, madam, do you want to shout out any of your channels or anything like that? Well, yes. If you guys want to go to Ivana Cannon Geyser Williams on my TikTok and Ivana K. Williams on YouTube and then just Ivana Williams on Facebook. So I have, I have all my names on one of the social medias. Just, just sure search Ivana Williams. It pops up under that. Answer. Yeah, that'd help. That probably would have been the easiest thing to say. <laughs> it just pops up under Ivana William. Or just Google her. She's yeah, got that'd she, be exciting. She's got an interesting story. She has also uh -huh. been on uh uh what, Scandal? Yeah, I was on there. Um That's local that was, down here too. He's not trashy. <laughs> he did his research and all of that. He I think it was a good podcast. No, he does a good job. I was just listening to him the, uh, uh, today, actually, on my way to work. He, he got one out that's uh, on uh, – he's doing stuff on, like, a little series on uh, uh, teachers that have done stuff with their students and stuff like that. And 
I got to say, old Jim puts a lot of research in. He, he's actually doing a good job on it. Yeah, it takes a while to do it, like, to actually investigate stuff. Oh, yeah, like, the, the way he does it, not me. I just take stories and make fun of the shit uh, is what right. I do. Yeah, we're about fun shit. We, yeah, we I'm, just like, I, I'm just like, I'm just like. Yeah, because we like we spent ten minutes talking about some some news anchor's hair one night. Cause this dude had really good hair. <laughs> I mean, he had this dude had. Remember that guy? He had awesome hair. Buddy, we cover so many. And and uh, they they finally caught Precious. Precious is yeah. out of New Orleans. She's a dispatcher in New Orleans, and uh, I hang up on you. She would hang up on people when they called number one, and she got fired, and charged. Like I'm watching Jerry Springer click. I ain't got time for this shit. You know, know. it yeah, took him what like three years to finally catch her because she was had absconded. And Holster would actually like call NOPD to find out and check. They finally did catch her. <laughs> I would. Like, they always had that active warrant. <laughs> so they finally what? caught Precious. We wanted to. Well, everybody, love every one of you guys. Now go check Ivana out. We'll see if we scared her off. She comes back or not. I don't know. I scared her off. Uh, she knows I'm going to. Well, she she already kind of knows because she sees all this. I'm constantly writing smart ass shit on all her Facebook posts and shit like that. (laughs) So uh, maybe she'll come back if she wants. Uh, We'll see. I had to ask. But, uh, Everybody stay safe. Watch you back. Watch your partners back. And uh, hopefully I get this shit figured out and I won't keep losing my feeds. And uh, remember, we're not sheep dogs. Here we go. We're lions. Stay trashy. Thank you. Thank you. That's your laughs if you were offended. Fuck off. The crew hopes to see you back next week. Same time, same place, bring a friend to foe. We are the lions, kings of the jungle. We don't take no shit. Were you offended by the podcast? Too much curse and not PC enough. Well, fuck your feelings. <laughs>